having survived our little unscheduled tour to the Salinas Grande Basin. We made the ride up Highway 9 into the setting sun and the town of Umawaka, where we set up base camp for our final days in Argentina. Adelante. Home sweet home. After rinsing the salt flats off the bike, we stopped in town to pick up a few supplies. Rose is up here making a transaction. It's the hand to hand. What'd you get there? Allegedly some coca leaves. Oh my goodness. Rose bought her first bag of coca leaves. Actually it is, yeah. All right, so what you do is grab yourself a wad of these bad boys, stick it right there like chewing tobacco, and you suckle on it, suckle on it like a teat. Ew, you just spit it on your boot. That's what you do. You spit it on your boot. After a lesson on the fine art Got any of, my teeth? of suckling coca leaves and a brief detour to annoy the goats, we took a quick run down the highway to Ukiya before hitting the dirt once again. Our destination for the morning, the distinct sandstone formations of Quebrada de las Señoritas, or Ravine of the Ladies. To participate in one of this lady's favorite activities, how are you doing, Rosie? Hiking is stupid. Hiking is stupid? <laughs> Rosie isn't quite as enthusiastic about the outdoors as I am. And since I know many of you watching love hiking about as much as I do, we've added a countdown below until we're back on the bike. What's up, Canyon Explorer? <laughs> Die. We're all gonna die someday. What do you say, hiking queen? I didn't die. You didn't die? All right. Next time. After an entirely unnecessary tour of the beautiful Red Rock Slot Canyons, we were back in the saddle through the cobblestone streets of Ukiya and across the Rio Grande. On our way to Mirador La Serania del Ornocal, better known as the Hill of 14 Colors. Huhui's most popular attraction, just 25 kilometers of well-graded gravel road from Umawaka. After jockeying for position and taking photos, slapping stickers, touring the souvenir hut, and enjoying a tortilla rellena. Mm, that's pretty damn good, actually. We were all set to check this box ride the well-graded road back to town 
and call it a day. But, as we were preparing to leave the parking area, Chad noticed what appeared to be a bypass around a locked gate, leading to what appeared to be a much more interesting road that appeared to get much closer to La Serranía del Ornocal than the official viewpoint. So without any warning, we were once again off-piste and on the hunt. But the track just kept going. And so did we, until we ran out of road at a much more exclusive viewpoint. parking lot. No, I can't believe you made it up here. <laughs> you gotta make it back. That's the challenge. After taking it all in, and no less than a thousand more photos, we were really ready to check this box and head back into town. All except for one thing. While posing for photos, we forgot something important. Let's see if you can spot it before we do. And it was just about here that Chad hit the brakes, started cursing incessantly, and kicked me off the bike before disappearing back from whence we came.
Any guesses why? Bingo. He took the tank bag off for photos. And, well, had it not been for what could have been an incredible drone shot, the tank bag might still be there to this very day. Yeah, sorry I yelled at you. Okay. <laughs> I was so frustrated. Yeah, the only reason I even noticed it was gone was I was like, oh, this would be a great place for a drone shot. I should get the drone out with the mountain in the background and we could ride by it. Then I looked down and I was like, where the f is the tank bag? <sighs> so, after a stupid day of hiking, a bit of off-piste riding, and some amazing views, it was back down the well-graded road to Umawaka. With a pit stop at one of the most remote craft breweries on the planet that just so happens to brew some damn good beer. At least, according to Chad. Ay, ay, pasen, pasen. Abierto? Tienen cerveza? Hay cerveza. Cerveza? Hay cerveza. En serio? Cerveza. Qué sí, bueno. ¿Cómo está, Chad? Ahí estamos bien. Pasen, yeah. fresca, hola. <laughs> ¿Cómo está? Ya ahí estoy haciendo leña. Ya. Yeah. Trabajando un poco. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. ¿Han ido al mirador? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. bonito. Qué bueno. Ya. Yeah. Hola señora, ¿cómo va? Ariel es mi nombre. Pase. Pase para After talking shop with Ariel and grabbing a few mal pasos for the road, we descended into town where we wandered the streets and did our best to enjoy our final day in this incredible country. From Ushuaia to Umuaka, Mendoza to Buenos Aires, big cities to mountain peaks, glaciers, alpine lakes, and remote passes. Argentina has been nothing short of spectacular. And after four months in the country, we had barely scratched the surface. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. And we still had plenty of South America left to explore. <laughs>